I'm Zheng Hua Han from Microsoft Research, and I'm glad to share our recent work powered uh, efficient serving of LLM based application with thematic variables. And this work is jointly done with Shanghai Jiao Tong University and Microsoft Research. So, large open model is changing the paradigm of how the new applications are built. If we treat LLM request as a special type of function, the combination of traditional code and LLM are delivering a new capability that can, be, can understand the semantics of natural language and conducting the more intelligent planning beyond the pre-programmed control flows. So according to the Gardner survey, there is a clear trend that more products are adopting Gen AI techniques to enhance the capability of their businesses. And the programming framework of this new type of application are gaining more and more attention, like a long chain, semantic kernel, autogen, and so on. Just like the traditional programs that require the multiple functions to work together, the high-quality large language model application also need multiple requests to collaborate together in different workflows to accomplish a, a single, a complex task. For example, it could be MapReduce style or chain style a workflow that each LM requests that process a partial uh, chunk of document and then generate the final output based on the intermediate result. And the chat-based search applications also use multiple steps to generate the, 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 the search answer, like they first rewrite the query and to do the search and find the answer and also do some safety check. A more complex workflow like multi-agent, uh, for example, they can use like a product manager, architect, uh, engineer, code reviewer, tester, so multiple roles will collaborate together to do one uh, coding task. So each role will be played by one or multiple LM requests. Although LM applications use multiple requests, but existing public LM service providers still provide like single request-centric APIs. From their view, they just receive a lot of individual prompt requests without knowing any application level knowledge. They don't know whether the requests are coming from the same application, they don't know the type of applications, and they don't know the dependency of these prompt requests either. So what's the problem? The absence of application knowledge leads to some efficiency drawbacks. So some applications with multiple sequential requests for example, here you have four steps. Because of the existing ARM service only serves the individual LM request. So the application client has to do the chatty request submission that suffer from high excessive latency. From our measurement of a production copilot, like 50% to 70% of the end-to-end -end latency is spent outside the real GPU in the inference. So, for example, here, the multiple requests have to communicate over the internet, that suffering the internet latency. Also, the resubmission of each request will suffer extra queuing delay. Also, because existing public LM service only serve the individual request, they have to use a blindly optimize the latency of each individual request. However, this goal may, may be misaligned with the end-to-end -end latency of applications. For example, when multiple agents process the in input in a MapReduce style, the public ARM service have to use a very small batch size to make sure the latency of each individual request is low. But for this application, we just care about the time to get the final answer. We don't care about the, the latency of each intermediate result. So here, for this case, the optimal schedule is to use a very large batch size for the map stage to process the parallel uh, chunks. For this case, also, the latency of the individual request may be higher, but it can optimize the end-to-end -end latency. Beyond the request dependency, the public IAM service receives the rendered prompt, which has no knowledge about the prompt structure. But many production applications use a shared prompt for different user requests. They have a specific prompt structure, like define the role and a few short examples. This part will be the same for all the user queries. 
But without knowing the problem structure, it's hard to efficiently detect and exploit the sharing opportunities that cannot avoid the redundant storage and computation for the shared part. Although system communities have studied many optimizations for different types of applications, it is still hard for the public service to leverage this, this optimization because they have no knowledge about, about application. They don't know which type of optimization should be applied for some specific type of application because of no knowledge about application. So they have to blindly use a universal treatment of all the requests, for example, just minimize the latency of each individual request. So this motivates us to design parent. In parent, we want to design a unified abstraction that is natural to now I'm developers, but powerful to expose application level knowledge to the ARM service. By analyzing the data flow of multiple requests, public ARM service can uncover their correlation of the multiple requests and conduct the end-to-end -end optimization beyond single request. So we learn from how LM applications are built. Developers usually use some prompt engineer. They use a prompt template to program a prompt, uh, to LM applications. So each prompt template contains multiple placeholders. For example, given this task, a task, a prompt can guide LM to generate a code. And given the generated code, another round of LM can generate the test cases. So here, the input task, the output code, and the output test are the placeholders in the prompt templates. In Parrot, we just translated the placeholder into what we call semantic variable. So they build a data pipeline that connects multiple LM requests. So in the front end of Parrot, developers can program LM applications using a Pythonic way to define multiple semantic functions. So each semantic function will use a prompt template to define this IAM request. And here in, in the prompt, they ha there will be the input and output of the functions. And these are the placeholders in the prompt template, which will be translated in the semantic variables. And the developers can use a Pythonic way to orchestrate the multiple IAM semantic functions. And to, 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 they can connect the multiple IAM requests using the semantic variable. And in the end, developers can fetch the final result and annotate their performance criteria as the end-to-end -end optimization goals. By exposing the semantic variable using the Paris API with the semantic variable annotation, LM service can understand the, the DAG, the prompt structure, and the data pipelining between the requests, which enables many optimizations. So with the DAG of LM applications, we derive the scheduling preference of each individual request from the end-to-end -end optimization criteria so that we can optimize the end-to-end -end performance by, by, by a new scheduling policy. So from the DAG, we can derive the requests that, that can be executed in parallel with the larger batch size, which can optimize the end-to-end -end latency. For the chain style summary applications, like Teams meeting recap, Parrot can achieve up to 2.3 times speed up due to the saved excessive network latency and the queuing delay. For the MapReduce style summary application, Parrot can achieve over two times speed up due to the better end-to-end -end scheduling decision that use a large batch size for the parallel request. Also, public LM service faced applications with different performance criteria like the chatbot, they want a low latency, and the data analytics, maybe they want high throughput. To achieve these goals, we need to use either small batch size on the server or large batch size server to achieve low latency or high throughput. But these two goals are conflicted. If the two types of uh, applications are scheduled to the same GPU engine, they will have conflicted scheduling uh, decision. So by analyzing the application DAG, Parrot can automatically derive the scheduling goal of each request. So here, although the end-to-end -end latency is a goal of, of the, 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 the analytic job, we can still derive the, on the multiple parallel chunks we, we want to use a high throughput uh, scheduling decision. So here, Parrot can, by, by scheduling the two applications, 
two different engines to avoid the interference to achieve the best of both worlds and to avoid the conflicted objectives. So our evaluation shows that blindly treat all the requests in the same way will lead to high latency of both requests of jobs and the slow decoding time. But in Parrot, Parrot can understand and derive the application's performance preference and schedule them to different engines to avoid interference and to maximize the cluster throughput and to achieve the best of both worlds. Then all the applications here can have a low tendency and high throughput, achieving their performance criteria. So with the knowledge of prompt structure, Parrot can automatically detect the shared prefix as the boundary of the semantic variable. So they don't need to check every token, but only checking the, the boundary of the semantic variable to detect whether multiple requests received at the uh, Parrot service can share the same, same prefix. And we also have the optimized CUDA kernel using two-phase attention to avoid the, the, the uh, re repetitive memory loading and the computation. Our evaluation on the product, production prompt shows up to 1.7 times latency reduction and up to 12 times throughput improvement. Even compared with the page retention, and the storage can be, uh, the repetitive storage can be avoided. And this power can still achieve 2.4 times throughput improvement just by avoiding the repetitive memory loading and computation. In summary, we find existing public LLM services face diverse applications, but lacking application knowledge makes them missing a lot of optimization opportunities. And in Parrot, we propose semantic variable to use a natural and unified way to expose essential application information, enable many end-to-end -end optimization using the data flow analysis. Our evaluation shows the order of magnitude efficiency improvement for many practical uses. Okay, thank you, and Microsoft Research is hiring in many sites, and I'm happy to take any questions.